What's up gamers, welcome to another video. So in this video, I'll be going over my Mac and Windows hybrid setup. So if you're someone that uses Mac and Windows or are looking at doing that on a daily basis, I'll be going over the equipment that I use and why I use it basically and just my desk setup tour at the moment. So my setup's right back there in the background. So pour yourself a drink, I got some matcha here and let's get into the video all right so here's a view of the desk and as you can see i am running three pcs two are running windows as their main operating system and then i have a macbook right there so i'll first start off with the computers i'm using right here we have a razor blade 16 has the 4090 uh, graphics card in it we also have a older power spec desktop um, that I've been using. This one's running Windows 11 as well. We have the 3060 Ti and then I upgraded it quite a bit. We have about 128 gigabytes of RAM in there and then I got two SSDs uh, down here and then I have the whole bottom filled with hard drives. So we got about 11 terabytes of hard drives in it. It's a bit overkill because this is just mainly a gaming PC but also run virtual machines so that's where I use Linux primarily. And then right here we have my M3 MacBook Pro, which I absolutely love. So you might be asking, why do I use uh, Windows and Mac? And it's basically just for convenience and the use of different programs. So for the most part, I actually was always a Mac person. I almost always used a MacBook and I basically only used Windows for gaming until I got into working in tech and basically every company I go to uses Windows of, you know, 10 or 11. So I had to basically just get very comfortable and familiar with the operating system. And also just to use uh, certain programs, you know, some people might be asking, why don't you just use Linux? Um, I do a lot of music, um, hence I have the interface right here. And a lot of the programs, VSTs and things that I need just don't work on Linux and it's a pain in the butt. So I basically uh, just run with Windows 11. So the music software that I'm primarily using on it is Persona Studio One. And then on my Mac, I also use Logic Pro X, which is a Mac exclusive. So that's primarily why I use Windows is also gaming, of course. It's just a lot simpler and easier just to game on Windows. You know, I know SteamOS is all coming out and everything, so I'm actually pretty excited for it. But just for me personally, the programs, what I need to learn, uh, Windows is just more convenient and I kind of view Linux more as a tool for me personally. I just view all the operating systems as tools. And of course, I have a video on the channel debloating Windows and showing you how you can do that just to make it more privacy and security focused. But you know, when I want to get video editing and whatnot done, I'm mainly pulling out the Mac, you know, just for general, you know, just doing emails, video editing, uh, if I want to use some Logic Pro X or just have Basically, it's just, you know, turn it on and it just works and everything works and it's just a simple, fun interface to use. Um, you know, Mac OS. I also like that it's kind of Unix, so if you're messing with the terminal, um, you know, a lot of the commands kind of carry over to Linux as well and whatnot. And then Windows, um, primarily use it just for tools, for music, and gaming. So. Then when I'm running Linux, I'm usually doing virtual machines. So I'll be running, you know, Security Onion, Kali Linux, um, you know, depending on what I need it for. When I did use Linux as my main operating system, um, I'll probably go over it. I have an old ThinkPad. Uh, I'd usually go with just Debian, but for right now, just for convenience, you know, if I just don't want to troubleshoot programs and I want things to work, you know, I just split my time basically between Windows 11 and the newest version of Mac which I'm actually enjoying. So this is my Mac here on the screen and looks pretty cool. I also just love the simplicity of the gestures. You know, you can just like switch between windows real quick and yeah, it's just a great interface. Um, bonus points if you can name what video game this wallpaper is from on my Brave browser. Let's get into some more of the equipment. So we'll first start off with the laptop here, uh, my Razer Blade. Uh, I usually main that as my main Windows uh, PC now. And the main reason is, is I travel a lot. So I just needed something that was more portable before I was just using uh, this desktop. And 
basically I just used it for gaming and then I needed to do a lot more learning with, you know, Windows and whatnot. So ended up being this laptop since I travel. Um, some things that I use with it is this Razer fan. Um, if you get a gaming laptop, you're definitely gonna want a fan because these things just heat up. Unfortunately, it's super noisy. It's like uh, way too noisy. I'll probably do a review on the channel of it so you can hear that later on. Um, after that, I run in everything into this dock right here. So I have my ethernet, you know, all my plugs and everything run into this Razer. I think it's the version four uh, laptop dock. So it's been working pretty well too. It's kind of large, but honestly it fits everything I need. So I don't have a hundred cables running off of the laptop. Right here for audio, this is primarily for music. So I don't have it hooked up right now. Got the Volt 76. Um, pretty good interface. I mainly got because of the desk. I'm kind of going with the more bamboo kind of look. So that's primarily what I use with this laptop. So we're just talking, you know, cooling fan, laptop, dock, and you're all hooked up and ready to go. All right, so for the Mac setup, what I love about it is that it's just so simple and it just works. Um, you know, I didn't have to do any troubleshooting like I did with my Razer Blade laptop, unfortunately. It's having a lot of trouble, so I'm using this Ultra Gear LG 32 inch monitor. And for some reason, I had to go with like a HDMI keyboard, I believe, for that one um, to get it to work with the dock. Anyway, for the Mac though, you know, I just have a power cable that I run underneath the desk, and then it just takes a USB C um, connection to the monitor and it just works. And then I'm doing Bluetooth with um, the Magic Keyboard and trackpad. As a side note, if you wanna get a cheaper Magic Keyboard, I got this one off eBay. You know, it's the Chinese version and uh, it's like the same thing, but it was like half the price, which was pretty cool. For the Razer Blade though, I'm running with this K100 Air and then the Logitech uh, G305. Pretty decent mouse. Um, I'm trying to go more for a wireless setup. That's why I'm using these. Basically what I do is if I'm not using the Mac, I'll just throw these in my little desk here that's uh, just full of all kinds of stuff. So I'll just throw the keyboards that I'm not using in one of those drawers and just pull them out. So it's just for quick, you know, get up and go and it, you know, just turns on and works. Also for the Mac, if I do need a dock for whatever reason, I just went with this, um, this brand, I don't know what this is. I got off Amazon, you know, you have everything you need, ethernet, extra HDMI, SD card readers and everything. Only thing I don't like about the MacBook is, you know, it doesn't have a whole lot of ports on the side. So I just go with this, you know, so that's the main uh, powerhouse, you know, of this setup is, you know, get all the cables and everything running. So I just plug it all in, you know, to either one of these. I actually probably should try plugging this into the MacBook. The only annoying part about this dock is it has such a large power brick. So I'll show you all underneath the desk here in a minute so you see the mess of a cable management that all this is. But basically all the uh, HDMI, all those cables are just running from the monitor to my PCs. And here we have the power specs. So this is my desktop. I'll eventually probably get rid of it since I'm going more towards a mobile setup. And if I move again, I'll probably will since I travel quite a bit. So this one I usually use for doing virtual machines, any home lab type work, anything like that. In terms of cables, it's pretty simple back here. You know, everything just plugs in HDMI, ethernet. And then what I'll usually do is for the mouse and keyboard, I'll just unplug it from the dock. Put it right here along with the headphone and my microphones. In terms of the microphones, I went with Shure. I think this is the MV7. Put uh, links down below of all the equipment that I'm showing in this video. And then I also use this Shure mic. It's the MV88 Plus. It's a uh, more mobile, you know, smaller microphone. Um, for when I travel and whatnot, you can see it's like half the size and it's pretty nice if I want my desk to look maybe a little bit more minimal or I want to record videos on the go instead of 
carrying this guy around. So I've also been working with this microphone to see if I could get good vocal um, tracks out of it so I can minimize my setup even further because I've been using a dedicated um, audio microphone. Uh, this one gets pretty good audio. I really enjoy it. And then this one's just great for travel and whatnot. All right, so in terms of audio, just to keep my setup uh, simple, I don't use speakers really. I just use headphones and I attach them with this little headphones holder here underneath the desk. So for my Windows PCs, I usually use this guy. It's the DT770 Pro X. Amazing headphones. They sound really great. And they're really good actually for gaming and music production. So that's why I got those. I do probably wanna eventually try to go for a wireless headphone. Be interested to hear if anyone has any good suggestions for music production uh, wireless headphones because trying to get a little bit away from the wired everything. And then here I have the AirPod Max. This is for uh, my Mac setup. Of course, I can also use these headphones, but these are just really convenient for traveling and um, hooking up via Bluetooth. Now, I didn't want to talk about this part, but here's the cables underneath the desk. I probably could use some cable management, but we're going to ignore that. The most I did was get this little basket and try to tape some stuff up under the desk here. But yeah, it's kind of a nightmare. That's also why I'm kind of trying to move towards probably just two PCs instead of three. The most annoying part about the Razer laptop though is you have a huge power brick for just the power to it. You have like this other power brick uh, for the dock, which is kind of annoying. And then you also have that large square there is for the fan's power. So it just takes a lot of power while the power spec here uh, only takes one cable to power everything. But I guess that's the price you have to pay for being mobile is, uh, is having a ton of power bricks. So the desk that I'm using is the FlexiSpot Bamboo Desk. Um, it's a standing desk, but I don't move it. I got it kind of in the perfect spot where the cable basket isn't um, pushing down on this larger. So this larger, um, you know, surge protector kind of power deal. And then for my ethernet, I also have these two cables. One runs to the laptop, one runs to the power spec. But anyway, um, I use a standing desk, but I kind of just keep it where it's at. So, um, cause I don't stand much with it, but it's a pretty great desk. Um, I just like the minimal kind of just bamboo finish of it. And I think it all comes together and looks great. And then right here we have my chair. I actually don't know what the brand is. I have had this for years now. Um, it's just a regular ergonomic kind of just office chair. I kind of stay away from the gaming chairs. They always kind of hurt my back. And this one uh, works great for, you know, just sitting for long hours, which I do every day, but it rolls right underneath the desk. So I got it all perfectly leveled out. So everything just works. So see there on the right, I have the storage containers, you know, my little little storage drawers with all my tools in it, power spec, and it just all comes together. So that's the setup there. Um, some quick side notes. If I need to pack everything up, uh, here's the case I use for my MacBook Pro. And then here's the case that I use for the Razer. Um, I did a video kind of talking about why I don't use the Razer blade sleeve. Um, for that laptop. So you can check that out on the channel. And then just some little accessories. Uh, I'll probably do a separate video on my mobile setup, but some just like little accessories I like to carry with me is this, you know, so I could plug in more things than one. Uh, I'll just go for these like little AirPods and then a uh, stand like this, especially if you have a gaming laptop and you can't take um, the fan with you everywhere, especially if you go to like coffee shops or something. So that's really useful. My bag is just a Lenovo Legion 17 inch bag that I've had for years. It's even got like a weird paint stain or something on it, but pretty great backpack. You know, you always want to get a backpack with the uh, 
you know, padding in there for your laptops and whatnot. All right, gamers. So here the razor blade is turned on. As you can hear, that fan is not very quiet. It's, you know, right now it's just sitting idle and it's running that loud. So it's a little bit annoying. You can switch it to quiet mode and whatnot, um, you know, but I just don't want to risk overheating the laptop, especially if I'm gaming for a few hours or doing music production or anything like that. But here it is on the Ultra Gear. I guess with this monitor, I chose the 32 inch uh, LG because it has a really cool feature right here where underneath you can switch it to 4K and then back to not 4K and it will go actually up to 480 Hertz refresh. So that's really great for playing games like Counter-Strike and whatnot. And overall, it's a pretty nice monitor. Um, here's my laptop, just super clean look. Um, check out my video on the channel, how to get it like this, but overall it runs fine. If we back up here, you can see how it looks now, just with the that laptop going. Obviously, I can only use one computer at a time with this setup, but it's kind of just, you know, you turn that one off, you know, plug that one in, then it's working, turn that one off, you know, turn that one on, and then, you know, they just all go to this one screen. Maybe in the future, I'll do like some crazy multi-monitor setup, but right now, with my current lifestyle and everything, this works well for me, and I really like it. So anyway, hope that you all enjoyed the video. This is just a little, you know, sneak peek into my gear, what I use, and why I use uh, Windows and Mac basically as my main operating systems and how you can set up a hybrid workstation. So hope this video was helpful. Let me know what y'all use down below and I'll see you next time. Bye.